Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to show you how to go into SIS and uh, use a script task to tell if a file exists or not. This was actually inspired by a user group question and I wrote him the code real quick so I thought I'd just turn on the video and, uh, and do this for you real quick. I'm not going to go, I'm not, I'm not going to rewrite it, you know I usually like to do things on camera. Um, I'm not going to rewrite it because I already wrote it so I'm just going to talk you through what I did. I dragged a script task over here, right? Where is it? Right there. Uh, I'm working in VB. You can easily translate this to C Sharp if you want to. I've also got a bit of a, of a cold today, so, you know, suck it up. Alright, we open up the script editor. <clears throat> now, what you need to have to make this happen, first off, is you need to have the uh, import system I.O. All of this other stuff was already put there when I created the script task. So, since we're working with the file system, then you need to have the system I.O. imported. After that, what I did here was inside main, and this is the part that says, you know, your code here, right? Uh, I created a, a variable as a string, and I put the full file path to that variable, or the, the full file path, uh, as the, and, and set it to that variable. <clears throat> and then I just dimmed a variable as a new IO file info and passed it that variable. So what I need to do here is I've, uh, as I say, dim f uh, stands for file, right? As a new io dot file info, and then give it the full path, this guy right here, which has been assigned to that, right? So now it's just really easy. If f exists, then I'm going to shoot up a message box that says it exists. If it otherwise, I'm going to say it does not exist, and I'm going to tell you right now the file does not exist, right? Now, of course, you wouldn't really do it this way in production, right? I mean, this is fairly useless. And even having it hard-coded is somewhat limited. So what you would probably do... Let me go ahead and close out of this, because that's, that, that's all the script that we're doing. So what we would probably do instead... Come on, there we go. Is create a variable. Where are the variables? They're there. Is we'd create a variable with the, the string path in there and then pass that into the script. If you want to know how to pass variables into scripts we already have a video on that. So that's uh, <clears throat> that's uh, easy for you to look up. So now I'm gonna run this and you should see a message box telling you that it does not exist. There we go. Good. Does not exist. So <clears throat> let me close this out. So real quick and simple that's how you create a uh, a script task that checks whether or not a file exists and that's very useful in a number of cases there you go that's all I got